Hello and welcome to a video covering one of the simplest PVM tricks in the game and one you should absolutely be using if you aren't already. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. There are two things every PVMer should be using to their advantage at all times. One of those two things requires some practice, being keybinding your shield and the resonance ability. This is a very effective switch at all relevant bosses in RuneScape. However, there is a much easier and far more effective trick to make all bosses in the game significantly easier, and that is chugging food like your life depends on it with keybinds. I believe this will make any boss you're doing much easier given that that boss deals a ton of damage to you, so any low tier boss probably won't require tick eating. I would like to add that constantly eating food isn't ideal because solid foods will drain your adrenaline, and it's best to avoid this when possible, but let's start with the basics. There are three main types of food you should know about, the first of which being solid foods which drain your adrenaline and give the most amount of life points. Think sharks, sillfish, monkfish, and all that stuff. We then have potions, stuff like the sourdough and brews or guthix brews. And we also have soft foods, which will not drain your adrenaline, in this case being green or blue blubber jellyfish. If you plan to use solid food and sourdough and brews, simply keybind the eat food ability and your sourdough and brews. If you plan to use all three types of food, keybind your main type of solid food, being sharks or sailfish, as an example, then keybind your sourdough and brews, and then also keybind your blubbers. I recommend putting these in a row with three keybinds. The reason you want to keybind your regular food here is because your character will always prioritize the blubbers over your big solid food when using the eat food ability. This can get you killed if you forget about this. Now that you have your food keybound, all you have to do in PvM to heal up is tap those keybinds. Seems simple, right? Well, there's a small catch. Different types of food have a different amount of ticks before they can be eaten again, as each game tick lasts 0.6 seconds. As a general rule of thumb, if you plan to use solid foods like monkfish or sharks, you should always eat that bit of food or use that keybind first. The reason for this is because potions give you some kind of tick lag or delay. If you sip a potion first and then instantly try to eat a shark, it won't work. You will have to wait a tick or so before you can do it. What you are able to do is eat a solid bit of food, then instantly sip your sourdough and brew, and if you'd like to, also eat a part of your blubber jellyfish. If you don't like using solid foods because they drain your adrenaline, you're also able to take eat simply by using jellies and brews in combination with each other. One final thing worth noting is that you shouldn't spam your keybinds while healing up with solid foods and brews, because there is a chance of you using the potion first, which will mean you'll have that delay when trying to eat solid foods. If you want to know why this is so effective, take a look on screen. A regular shark will heal you 2,000 life points. If you were to use a regular sourdough and brew in combination with that shark, you'd heal 3,000 life points, which is 50% more than just using those sharks. If you were to add a blue blubber jellyfish to the mix, you'd be healing 25% more than the shark and the brew, or 87.5% more than just the shark. That's almost double the amount of life points in the exact same time frame. You can increase the amount of health you gain from any bit of food in the game by using an item called Expensive Spices. This item is obtained from the Let Them Eat Pie quest and can simply be placed in your inventory and will still work. You can also increase the amount of health you heal by using the Blessing of Het Archaeology Relic Power, which is obtained from the Eyes of Het 2 mini quest. Implementing this PVM trick could literally be the difference between life and death when PVMing. I cannot begin to quantify how many times tick eating or keybound eating has helped me survive at a boss, either because I took a large hit or wasn't paying attention due to a certain mechanic. Tick eating is the ultimate PVM trick every player should use, and with that being said, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video and found it interesting, be sure to leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.